Derek Van Shake is a YouTuber whose channel has just exploded recently because of his body language videos. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how Derek Van Shake just exposed the YouTube community for its hypocrisy. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I talk about all sorts of stuff but mainly what I try to do is see what we can pull from different topics in the YouTube community or pop culture and see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, YouTube has just been throwing Derek Von Shake's videos at me. Um, he's a great YouTuber. I do wanna start out with a disclaimer. Derek Van Shake is a great YouTuber. I love what he does. I am very much into body language. I read a book on body language from this FBI expert in body language, absolutely loved it. I do think that if more people understood body language, it would help with their social anxiety. So I absolutely love what Derek Von Shake is doing, all right? So those of you who are unfamiliar with his channel, his channel has blown up recently. Last time I checked, he had like over 250,000 subscribers. I think when I first came across his channel, which wasn't that long ago, he was only at like, maybe like 30 or 40,000, so it has just exploded. He started getting a lot of uh, traction with his Jussie Smollett videos, but he's made videos on Chris Watts. He also did a bunch of videos like I did on the Shane Dawson series on Jake Paul. Most recently, a video of his got recommended to me, and it was um, another one that he did about Jake Paul, talking about how Jake Paul is addicted to lie. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna reopen the wound a little bit, and all of you people who have stuck around with me that this long, you're like, oh my God, Chris, don't reopen the wound. But it's something that I wanna talk about. And here's the thing, here is the thing. Like, people are gonna dislike this video, and that's cool. People are already disliking the videos. <laughs> I've lost tons of subscribers. Like, it's cool. I'm gonna talk about the things that I wanna talk about, but I am just always fascinated with human behavior, the way we think, the way we act, and how so many of us, so many of us do not see the similarities between things, and it blows my mind. Like something I've always been trying to do with all of you is showing you the similarities you could take from YouTubers and what they're going through into your own life and try to use those as lessons, right? And formerly, I was talking all mental health all the time, and I've kind of re- branded a little bit where mental health is still very much a part of my channel, but I'm doing more commentary videos and everything like that. But here's some commentary. My commentary is with the explosion of Derek Van Shake's YouTube channel, it really shows the hypocrisy of what's going on, not even just in the YouTube community, but just in the world in general. So those of you who don't know about body language, right? So body language, what is this? Body language is a technique used to see what this person is really thinking, really saying, or really doing. Again, I love Derek Van Shake, no shade towards him, all right? And I hope I'm saying his name's right. But anyways, like, it is a technique used to help determine if a person is lying, or if they're scared, or if they're nervous, or whatever. And like, like I said, the book I read, it was an FBI agent, and there's many stories in there about how he caught people or, or knew which questions to ask based on the, the, the way the person's body language was. But here's the thing, here's the thing everybody, and Dr. Todd Grande even did a video about this, but here's what you all need to understand. Body language reading is a pseudoscience, okay? It is a pseudoscience. For those of you who don't know what a pseudoscience is, it is not an exact science, okay? That's why I refer to it as body language reading as a technique. Okay, but it is not an exact science, which means is that it is not evidence-based. So the issue that I'm having is, and like, by the way, like, again, like, this isn't to like defend myself or anything like that. Like, people are gonna think what they're gonna think. People are gonna believe what they're gonna believe. People are gonna dislike me if they're gonna dislike me based on videos and everything that, that's made. But the thing, the topic I wanted to bring up is like, we hold mental health in this like, like it's like this precious, delicate little rose. And if you use that word, like, oh my God, right? But like, like I'm just blown away by the hypocrisy. Like Derek Van Shake in his videos using a pseudoscience is claiming that he can determine if a person is lying 
based on videos of that person. All right, his videos are very entertaining and he like kind of jokes and laughs. I like, he's like, again, he's a great YouTuber. That's why his channel's exploded. Like he has a great personality. He's very charismatic and everything like that. It kind of draws you in. But he is like calling people liars based on a pseudoscience. Then on the other hand, you have a channel like mine where I have used clips. I have used clips of people saying their diagnosis and then I repeated what they said after showing their clip and then further explained that diagnosis as based on science and research from people a hell of a lot smarter than me and that is taboo. So one thing that I talked about with Dr. Todd Grande in a video I made with him not that long ago was, he was like, I think the line gets crossed when you're assuming someone's thoughts and their intentions, right? But why is it that we hold body language reading channels at, at like in this amazing light here on YouTube when that is a pseudoscience, right? Like we can look at something like, hell, I'll throw it out there. We can look at something like borderline personality disorder. Based on the symptoms, based on years of research and studies, we can say, oh, a person has this diagnosis. Here are common characteristics of somebody with borderline personality disorder based on research and studies and science. You are not going to find the same amount of research when it comes to body language. So why is it okay to say, based on body language, we can say that that person is lying, calling that person a liar, but over here, we can't talk about what somebody vocalized. Again, we're holding mental health in, in, this, in this very precious state. And something that's one of my missions in life, I've, put, I've, I've drawn back a little bit on it here on this channel because it seems like the world isn't ready for it yet, but one of my missions is to change the way that we're talking about mental health. The stigma is not gonna go away as long as people are saying, no, 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 you can't talk about this. Like, but we're constantly accusing people. Like, here's, here's the thing. And I, I made this video because a few comments really bugged me from some old fans of the channel. Here's the thing. With all the videos ever made about me, I still have never diagnosed anybody. And I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're, you're saying, well, there is that one. And I'm not gonna mention the name. I'm not gonna mention the channel. You're gonna say there is that one. But again, I've, I've never said it unless there was evidence of the person saying it themselves. So the one you're thinking about, that was based on dozens of videos talking about that diagnosis. So I want you guys to sit back and just really ask yourself, see if you can set aside your anger, your, your bias, your hatred, everything, and ask yourself, why is it okay to use the pseudoscience of body language reading, but it isn't okay to talk about a mental illness that somebody says they already have. Because the argument is, and this has come up a little bit on the iNabber video that I've done, is that people don't like it. Well, think about that for a second. Do you think people like videos made about them, accusing them of being a liar based on a pseudoscience? They probably don't, right? So something I was talking about in my iNabber video is, is that there's all these blurred lines for the commentary community. Why are channels making commentary not allowed to use direct quotes of somebody saying they have something or something they're going through? Why is that not okay, but it's okay to use a pseudoscience to claim that somebody else is lying, right? Like, and, and I'm not, again, I'm not gonna name names, but I've watched a lot of body language channels just because they intrigue me, but, I've seen body language channels where there was a clear bias. There was a clear bias when that video started and if the person reading the body language has a bias, they're gonna be more prone to spot things that they assume makes that person a liar. And that is one of the issues with it, is, is believing that this is some kind of lie detector test. And the reality is too, like I don't know if you've ever seen like the the series on Netflix, what's it called, the confession tapes, or something like that. But what everybody needs to understand is, even lie detectors are not 100%. Lie detectors can be faulty, and this is because if a person believes something to be true, 
a lie detector isn't gonna pick that up. So if somebody, for example, believes they committed a crime, even though they didn't, and they take a lie detector test, it's gonna show that they committed a crime. That's why lie detector tests are not scientifically proven to work, all right? But anyways, those are my thoughts. I wanted to talk about that because I was, it, I like talking about stuff on my channel. I, I, I wanna hear from all of you. What do you think is the difference between Derek Van Shake and other body language channels accusing people of lying based on a pseudoscience and why you think we're not allowed to talk about mental health subjects, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you know what to do. <laughs> and if you're new to this channel and you don't mind sticking around, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You all are really, really amazing. I love you so much. And I'll see you all next time.